you may have to read a word problem several times. Start by drawing a picture. Something rectangular has an area of 150 square feet. So I'll draw a rectangle. Well, you can pretend it's a rectangle. And the area is 150 square feet. Okay. The length is three greater than twice the width. I read that as one side of the rectangle is three more than double the other. Okay. So let's say that's one side. Okay. Looks like the shorter one. And the longer one would be double X plus three, twice the other plus three. I'll write two X plus three. Again, draw a picture and then label the parts of the picture using the variables according to the information that we get. We have to find the dimensions of the parking space. Right, so find what x is and find what 2x plus 3 is. Well, if we find what x is, then we can just plug in here and find 2x plus 3. The next part is to look for a helping equation. Well, what do we know about the area of the rectangle? It's one side times the other. We call it best time, base times length. So base times length. Or length times height. But it's one side times the other. So we can write x times 2x plus 3 equals 150. Okay. We have an equation that involves the variable. Uh, let's solve for that variable. So we'd have to uh, rewrite this equation as a, an equation that's easier for us to solve. If we combine like terms, regroup, combine, we end up with a quadratic 2x squared plus 3x minus 150 equals 0. You should check the steps. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. There are several ways to try. For example, we can try factoring, completing the square, the quadratic formula. Um, but there's a hint here. I don't know. It says round to the nearest tenth of a foot. So I don't think it's going to factor. And I won't try it. I'll go straight for the quadratic formula because, it, about the, because of this rounding uh, requirement. So let's try it. Quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus oops minus 4 times a times c divided by 2a. Oops. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Let's go back. 2a. Okay. So, work this out in your calculator to simplify the radical. Well, to simplify the expression inside the radical. So, we'll get negative 3 
plus or minus the square root of 1209 divided by 4. Okay. Now we'll need more space. Okay. Then here we can, well, two solutions one with the plus, one with the minus. Negative 3 minus the square root of 1209 over 4. But I won't bother with this because I'll see that it'll come out to be a negative number. The top is negative, the bottom is positive, so the fraction is going to come out to be a negative number. And x represents length, so this solution will not be of use to me. So, bye-bye. So then I'll work with the plus option. Negative 3 plus the square root of 1209 over 4. Let's use more space. And that works out to be 7.942661. I'll leave it for you to check. Well, uh, that's x. And then 2x plus 3 comes out to uh, 2x plus 3 works out to be 18.8853. It goes on forever. Both of them do. And we're asked to round to the nearest foot. So, let's see if we can squeeze it in here. Different color. So, X ends up being 7.9. X is 7.9. And 2X plus 3 will be 18.9. Let's see if it sounds reasonable. 18.9, is that about 2 times x plus 3? Well, 2 times x. x is 7.9. And that's almost 8. 2 times almost 8 is almost 16. Almost 16 plus 3 is almost 19. And we get almost 19 here. 